Rahim, Assalamu Alaikum or oh, welcome to my channel and today I am going to upload another video is a SLO based preparation of uh, subject history class 7 so let's move ahead and find out the important questions here number one is briefly explain the greatest contribution of a Basit to the Islamic civilization as uh, we all know that this chapter number two is about the two dynasties number one is Umayyad the second one is Abbasid so and this chapter is included in your examination so the answer I try to write the answer in easy and precise way so uh, they captured huge territory to spread the thwarts of Islam their first uh, it actually here is a mistake of their uh, like this their first success was in Qarasa and then Kufa in 749 AD where Abdul Abbas became the first caliph of the Abbasid dynasty. Later Abbasid entered Syria and defeated Umayyad army under their last ruler Marwan II in 750 AD. So I tried this answer to uh, clear all the basic concept of the question. So this is the brief description of this question. So let's move ahead. What will the Caliphate of Hazrat Umar bin Abdul Aziz be remembered as a revival of the spirit of Poise Caliphate? Who is a revivalist? Revivalist is a person who just uh, give the new life to any religion, to any state or to anything that is going towards the dead. So, he undertook extensive public works in Persia, Khurasa and North Africa, including construction of canals, roads, rest houses for travelers and medical dispensaries. Omar bin Abdul Aziz was the first caliph to commission a translation of uh, Quran from Arabic into other language and it was really a great milestone to spread the knowledge of the Quran in other language because uh, there were uh, the many people who just wanted to know the theme of the Quran Ipaq, but they were unable to understand the Arabic language so he this idea was a great idea to translate the Quran Ipaq into other languages. Number three, describe the educational system in Mughal era. As you know, the uh, educational system was really great in the Mughal era, Mughal period, and they just focused on the uh, education in many ways. They had many kinds of subjects and knowledge, and they just did work on uh, their experimental basis, not uh, on the basis of the stories as in this era, we are just finding the information from the internet, and we just gather the information, and we, we get the information from others. Uh, so this was uh, an, uh, you can say, the outstanding era of the educational system. So we discuss about uh, this in uh, one paragraph. During the Mughal period, the major center of learning were located at Lahore, Delhi, Ajmer, Sialkot, Multan, Ahmedabad and Lucknow and many uh, scholars were attracted to these institutions from the Persia and Central Asia. And the second thing is education was free of cost. Islamic scholars were attached to the masjid and uh, khanqas of Sufi. Khanqa is a place where the Sufi uh, just uh, were remained busy for zikr and other mystic problems. The system of the education was called an Nizamiya, which became the popular during the days of the Mughals. Hindu pachalas were also set up for the imparting religious instructions because you know very well the many kinds of people uh, were there, like uh, with the they were linked with the many religions, so that is why they always think that we should just work according to all the religions to fulfill the needs of all the religions, so that they did it. Number three, number four, what is mind the Renaissance right any two points to justify significance? Is aapko pata hai ki ye jo term hai, it is ka matlab hai rebirth. Aapne agar last chapter the modern world mein aap humne discuss kiya tha, it was about that the people who were fighting for the for the um, revival of the Bible, they fought for the thirty years and thirty year wars. They, those people were renaissance because uh, unka idea ye tha ki we are coming back to fight and continue our uh, uh, movement to do our spirit. So renaissance uh, means rebirth in France. 
it is believed to have begun in Italy during the end of the 14th century. It reached a height in the 15th century and spread the rest of the Europe during the 16th and 17th centuries. It is a period uh, which marked the shift from the Middle Ages to modernity in European history. Number five. And uh, write any two points so they justify the significances. Okay, important kyun hai? It changed the way of the artistic expression such as writing, painting and music. It turned society towards the more humanist. It encouraged the scientific research and inventions. Number five, who was Razia Sultan? What were her two more important achievements? First of all, the answer of the first question, Razia Sultan was the first Muslim women ruler in South Asia and is commonly known as Razia. He succeeded her father as uh, the heir of the throne instead of her brother's achievements. She really attacked the enemy territories and merged them with the Sultanate to strengthen the kingdom. She brought many reforms to administration. She opened library to promote the knowledge. So I have just uh, um, written down all these in the points. Who founded the slave dynasty also traced its origin. The slave dynasty was founded by the Qutbuddin Abik, a governor and one of the trusted officers of Sultan Muhammad Ghori. I'm really highly impressed from this person because he was just a slave and uh, then became a king. So this was really a luck. You can say that part of destiny or maybe you can say that uh, this was uh, the struggle of that person. It was really a great achievement of such kind of person who was uh, uh, just like someone sold him and then he just handled the whole dynasty. The slave dynasty was founded by Qutbuddin Abik, a governor and one of the trusted officer of the Sultan Muhammad Ghori. The slave dynasty was founded by Qutbuddin Abik. He was born in Turkish tribe of the Central Asia. He captured and sold as a slave in his childhood. After passing through a few hands, finally he was purchased by Sultan Muhammad Ghor because of his good character and qualities. Here is a quality, so just do it. He became military commander. Number 8. Why was Shah Jahan's reign considered as a golden age of the Mughal Empire? As you know, the Shah Jahan was the mentor of art and agriculture and uh, constructivity. So that is why he is just famous because of this. He just uh, built many buildings on the basis of all these things. Shah Jahan's reign is considered golden reign because uh, of uh, following reasons. Number 1. He was a great patron of art and architecture. Example of some buildings are Red Fort, Taj Mahal and tomb of his wife. Taj Mahal basically is the tomb of his wife. He created wonderful blend of Persian and Indian culture in the Mughal art. Shah Jahan built a new capital, Shah Jahan Abad, and uh, with a magnificent red fort in the hall of the public audience. Number 9. What were the Laudan Khilji's major defense policies against the Mongol invasions? Invasion ka matlab aapko mein batao chukhi hon already to, to, to attack. During the reign of Alauddin Khilji, Mongols invaded India seven times, but Alauddin succeeded in defeating them every time. It was a great achievement. Here are three points. Old forts were re restored, new forts were built, and skilled troops under capable officers were posted. Factories were set up to produce armaments, and the separate armies were stationed in the frontier area of the Dipalpur, Samana and Multan. Number 10. Who installed chain of justice and what was its impact of the common on the common people? Chain of justice. Jahangir is a famous for installing a golden chain of justice. Outside the castle of the Agra, the chain was meant to be linked between the citizen and Emperor Jahangir announced that any aggrieved person ringing the bells would be granted a meeting with the Emperor. 14. What was the most significant result of industrial revolution after the great success of Protestants? Education. I, first of all, I just want to tell you about the Protestants were the people who just wanted to revival the Bible. Uh, two uh, wo groups. The number one is a Catholic, Roman Catholics and they were just coming uh, with the old ideas of the Bible and they said that we are getting the knowledge from the origin of the Bible. And it was their idea. After that, a group arrived there, and the group, uh, the thought of that uh, group were that like uh, we should just move ahead, and we should just modify the thoughts 
by taking from the Bible as they were considered that the Bible is for their whole life and for whole the generation till the doomsday. And uh, then they decided that we should just uh, renew the thoughts of the people. But according to the Bible, we should just renew the thoughts and we should spread it. And those people were called Protestants. So we will discuss about in the reformation movement in uh, the next questions education and literacy gradually increased to train the workforce and general population and the number two agriculture revolution followed the industrial revolution which increased the food supply while decreasing the amount of the labor number three the industrial revolution caused urbanization as the increasing population gathered in the large city to work in factories 15. Write on the three impacts of the French Revolution. You know the French Revolution is present in the modern world in the chapter number 6. Impacts. We are going to write down the impacts. Encourage the separation of the religion and affair of the state. Here we talk about one As you know, the Roman Catholics always believed that the Pope and the priest has the greatest power. Because uh, they had uh, given the power to the Pope and priest to involve in the uh, government affairs as well. But uh, Protestants were against this thing. As they just wanted to separate the both things. They said that the Pope should do work for the religious matters only. He is not allowed to interfere in the matters of, uh, uh, you can say, in the government affairs. Government is a separate thing in the uh, religious matters are separate thing but it this concept was not acceptable by the Roman Catholics so encourage the separation of the religion and affairs of the state number two it weakened the absolute monarchism in France as king was bound to constitution it led to the founding of the new republics and liberal democracies across Europe and across the Atlantic next what are the important features of the Mughal art and architectures? Give some examples. The Mughal era has uh, vastly contributed an admirable architectural literacy and cultural history to the India. The Mughal keen interest in paintings presented a blend of Indo-Persian mixtures. The paintings of the Mughal era show uh, themes of the stories of the Persian literature and Indian folklore. Originating from the time of the Turkish Afghan Delhi Sultanate, paintings prospered under the rule of the Akbar Jahangir and Shah Jahan. 17. Identify and explain the problems which made Aurangzeb unpopular in India. Uh, three points I'm going to write on, but we have many other points in the book. You can find out if you feel that these things are difficult, you can find out from the book. Financial difficulties of the empire increased due to the policy of long-drawn wars of the Aurangzeb. Number two, he imposed heavy taxes including war tax on the common people. Aurangzeb brought back jizya tax on Hindus and other non-Muslims which was abolished by Akbar. 18. Enlist personal traits of the Qutbuddin Abik made him founder of the slave dynasty. He proved to be most capable slave among the slaves of Sultan Muhammad. He was a self-made man who rose to the status of the Sultan by his own merit and services. He possessed the qualities of both head and heart. He had a good qualities, loyalty, generosity, courage and sense of justice. So that is why he was the founder of that slave dynasty and did great work for this dynasty as well. 19. What in your opinion were the three main factors responsible for decline of the Dwili Sultanate? Causes of the decline of the Dwali Sultanate. Role of the Muhammad bin Tagluk. Muhammad bin Tagluk's uh, transgression set in the motion uh, on the decline of the Dwali Sultanate. Number one, weak ruler, corruption of bells, internal invasions, internal conflicts, rise of the provincial kingdoms, and Indian chiefs opposition. Do write in the points. 20. The Christopher Columbus did not name the places he had discovered. Why? Christopher Columbus did not name the places he had discovered as he thought. He explored different parts of the India. It was a miracle. Vespucci, an Italian merchant who named land America and later became not America. You know that Columbus ki se badi jo Christopher Columbus ka the sad fact is that he was unable to know about that uh, right he is a leader of the america and he discovered the america 
اس کو پتہ نہیں تھا کہ اس کو لگا کہ اس نے انڈیا کے بہت سارے پورشنز جو ہیں وہ کر لیے ہیں بیکاز ہی فاؤنڈ دا پیپل ود دا ریڈ ہیئر اینڈ ہی تھوٹ دیٹ دیز آر دا ایریا آف دا انڈیا اینڈ پیپل آر دا ریڈ انڈین سو دیٹ از وائی ہی واز ان ایبل ٹو نو دس کانسیپٹ دیٹ ہی پتہ نہیں کتنا بڑا اس نے کام کر لیا ہوا تھا بٹ اس کو پتہ نہیں تھا اس بات کا اینڈ ٹین امپارٹنٹ لانگ کوشچنز ناؤ لانگ کوشچنز ری فارمیشن موومنٹ کی بات کرتے ہیں ہم لوگ یہاں پر دو رائٹ اے نوٹ آن دا ری فارمیشن موومنٹ اٹ واز اے ریلیجیس موومنٹ دیٹ ریولیوشنائزڈ ان سکسٹین سینچری آپ کو پتہ ہے یہ یورپ سے اٹھی ہے یہ تحریک اور اس میں دو طرح کے گروپس تھے نمبر ون رومن کیتھولکس اینڈ نمبر ٹو پروٹیسٹنٹ رومن کیتھولکس چاہتے تھے کہ جتنا بھی اوریجن ہے ہمارے پاس ہمارے پاس اوریجنل جو ایسنس ہے وہ بائبل کا ہے اور ہم اسی کو لے کے فالو کریں گے اور اس میں سب سے امپارٹنٹ بات یہ تھی کیا انہوں نے پریسٹ اینڈ پاپس کو بہت زیادہ رائٹس دیے ہوئے تھے کہ پریسٹ اینڈ پاپس جو ہیں وہ آپ کے گورنمنٹ کے افیئر میں انٹرفیئر کریں گے آپ کے گورنمنٹ کے میٹرس کو دیکھیں گے اکارڈنگ ٹو دا بائبل لیکن جیسے ہی پروٹیسٹنٹ آتے ہیں تو ان کو لگتا ہے کہ پاپ اور پریسٹ جو ہیں وہ صرف باہر جو ریلیجیس میٹر ہے انہیں کو ڈیل کر سکتے ہیں لیکن وی کین یوز دا بائبل فار دا سائنس اینڈ ٹیکنالوجی ان میڈیکیشن ان ایوری تھنگ کہ ہر چیز جو ہے وہ بائبل کے اندر ریٹن ہے ہم اس کو نیو آئیڈیاز جو ہیں وہ اس کے ساتھ ہم اس چیز کو آگے لے کے جا سکتے ہیں تو بائبل کے اندر کچھ چینج ہونا چاہیے اولڈ اسٹیریو ٹائپ میتھڈالوجی شوڈ بی اولشڈ ختم ہونی چاہیے تو انہوں نے اس کے اوپر ورک سٹارٹ کیا ورک سٹارٹ کرنے کے بعد ان لوگوں نے بہت طریقوں سے لوگوں کو جو ہے وہ کنوینس کیا تھرو در تھرو دا نیوز پیپرس تھرو دا جرنلس تھرو دا بروشرس پمپلرس ایوری تھنگ اور پیپل ٹک انٹرسٹ لوگ ان کے ساتھ ہو گئے اور یہ تحریک یورپ تک پھیل گئی اور اس میں جو تھا آلموسٹ تیس سال کی جنگ کے بعد پروٹیسٹنٹ جو تھے وہ اس میں ون کر گئے تھے بٹ پروٹیسٹنٹ کا آج کہیں نام و نشان نہیں ہے مے بی اگر ہو بھی تو کسی اور نام سے ہوگا بٹ دا رومن کیتھولکس آر اسٹل ہیئر کرسچنس کے سکس ریلیجنز جو گروپ ہیں ان میں ٹاپ پہ رومن کیتھولک کا آتا ہے سو اٹ واز اے ریلیجیس موومنٹ دیٹ ریولیوشنائزڈ ان سکسٹین سینچری یورپ دا گریٹ پولیٹیکل اکانمک سوشل افیکٹس ڈیورنگ دا ریفارمیشن دیئر واز اے اسپلٹ ان دا چرچ دیٹ ڈیوائڈیڈ ان ٹو دا کیتھولک اینڈ پروٹیسٹنٹ چرچ دا آئیڈیا آف ون مین نے مارٹن لوتھر ہو واز دا جرمن پریسٹ پریزینٹ دا ریفارمیشن موومنٹ دا بروک دا آئیڈیا آف کیتھولک اینڈ ٹرانسفورڈ ان ٹو دا new themes so number two why do you think napoleon called the civil code as the greatest success it was a french civil code enacted in 1804 by napoleon and the code ensures equality of all citizens before the law property rights and religious liberty it is it also abolished feudal and local customs history has thus partly uh, justified the melancholic words uttered by napoleon exile my real glory is not to 40 battles i won uh, for what will lose defeat will destroy the memory if as many victories what nothing will destroy what will live forever is my civil code it was the statement by the napoleon so next what in your uh, views are the effect of the french revolution on the today's world aaj ke world ke upar asar kya hai unke the french revolution not only uh, brought a new age of the france but also influenced uh, the other nations the ideas of the nationalism resonated among other nations giving away for the people to revolt against and just rule the revolution also introduced the concept of democracy to other nations Number four, list major mystic orders, Sufi Silsalas and their contribution in the spread of Islam in subcontinents. The first thing is, in the 20th century, some Muslims have called Sufis and the superstitious religion which holds back Islamic achievements in the field of science and technology. Many Sufis enjoyed the Sama and uh, musical Uh, congregations in their khan ka in effect uh, in fact kawali developed during his period the four most popular silsila were chishtiya soharwardi qadriya and naqshbandiya you know very well about all these things uh, emperor jalaluddin muhammad akbar was given the title of the great Ak- akbar the great he played significant role in the restoration of the mughal empire elaborate his role in bringing about the financial administrative and religious reforms before explaining the character of the jalaluddin muhammad akbar uh, jitne bhi hum log isko padhte hain main aapko ek cheez bata دوں صرف جسٹ ٹیک اٹ ایز اے نگیٹو کریکٹر یہ ہسٹری کا وہ نگیٹو کریکٹر ہے جس نے اسلام کی تمام ویلیوز کو جو ہے وہ ڈسٹروائے کرنے کی کوشش کی تھی اور اسی کے نتیجے میں ہی ڈائٹ کہ اس نے ایک بہت بڑے ریوائولسٹ حضرت مجدد علیف ثانی کے ساتھ اس نے جو تھا وہ جنگ سٹارٹ کی تھی جس کی وجہ سے انہوں نے وہ ریوائولسٹ تھے وہ اللہ کی طرف سے تھے انہوں نے 
ان کو چیلنج کیا ان کے ساتھ جو تھا جتنا بھی برا سلوک کیا جا سکتا تھا ہی ڈیڈ ان آفٹر دیٹ یہ اپنے انجام کو پہنچ گیا تو اس لیے آئی نیور بلیو ہز سسٹم بٹ دا کوشچن از ہیئر سو فائنینشیل سسٹم کی ہم بات کرتے ہیں این ایفیشینٹ سسٹم آف ٹیکسیشن وار انٹروڈیوس ان وچ اور رچ ور ٹیکسڈ مور دین پور نمبر ٹو ایگریکلچر ایریا واز انکریزڈ فار بیٹل کراپس آؤٹ پٹ ٹریڈ اینڈ مینوفیکچرڈ انڈسٹری فلارسٹ نمبر ٹو منصب داری سسٹم دس سسٹم واز انٹروڈیوس ایز اے نیو ایڈمنسٹریٹو اینڈ ریونیو سسٹم اٹ واز ڈائریکٹلی اکاؤنٹیبل ٹو دا ایمپرر اینڈ دے ویر رسپانسبل ٹو کلیکٹ ریونیو اینڈ آل ادر ٹیکسز ریلیجیس ریفارم کی اگر بات کرتے ہیں ہی فالو دا لیبرل ویوز ٹو ورڈ دا ریلیجن ہی اڈاپٹ دا پولیسی آف ریلیجیس ٹالرنس بیسڈ آف دا آنیسٹی جسٹس اینڈ پیس ابو الفضل اکبر فرینڈ اینڈ کاؤنسلر ہیلپ اکبر انفارمنگ دا آئیڈیا آف ون کامن ریلیجن جس کو دین الہی کے نام دیا گیا تھا اس نے ایک نیا مذہب انٹروڈیوس کرایا تھا جو بہت جلد ختم ہو گیا رائٹ اے نوٹ آن دا فالوئنگ منصب داری سسٹم چین آف دا جسٹس اینڈ بابر ناما تو ہم بات کرتے ہیں اس پہ منصب داری سسٹم جو تھا وہ ففٹین سیونٹین ایٹی میں انٹروڈیوس ہوا سوری دس سسٹم واز انٹروڈیوس ایز اے نیو ایڈمنسٹریٹو اینڈ ریونیو سسٹم منصب داری ور ڈائریکٹلی اکاؤنٹیبل ٹو دا ایمپرر دے ور رسپانسبل ٹو کلیکٹ دا لینڈ ریونیو اینڈ ادر ٹیکسز ملٹری رسپانسبلٹیز آف منصب داریز ور مینٹین اے اسپیسیفائڈ نمبر آف کیولری مین اس کے بعد چین آف جسٹس آپ کو پتہ ہے کہ ایک چین لگائی گئی تھی جہانگیر نے اپنے محل کے باہر ایک چین لگائی تھی کہ کوئی بھی پرسن ایسا جو میرے دربار تک اپروچ کرنا چاہتا ہے اس چین کو جو ہے وہ جو ہے وہ ٹچ کرے گا اس کی آواز سے مطلب اس کا پرابلم سالو ہو جائے گا تو اٹ واز ریلی اے فیمس اٹ واز کالڈ چین آف جسٹس جہانگیر از اے فیمس آف انسٹالنگ دا گولڈن چین آف جسٹس آؤٹ سائڈ دا کاسل فاگرا دی چین واز مینٹ ٹو بی آ لنک بٹوین سٹیزن اینڈ ایمپر جہانگیر اناؤنس دیٹ اینی اگریوڈ پرسن رنگنگ دا بالز وڈ بی گرانٹیڈ اے میٹنگ ود ایمپر اٹ واز ریلی اے گریٹ اسٹیپ اینڈ ہیئر از اے بابر ناما یو کین سی اٹس اے آٹو بایوگرافی آف دا بابر ہی واز He was uh, just like you can say he used to write his own life and own achievements and what he did in the, his life. Baba Nama is considered an, one of the earliest autobiography in the Islamic literature by an Indian ruler. It contained detailed accounts of the Baba's political military efforts to achieve throne. Do uh, you think that the Aurangzeb ruled the empire effectively explained with solid arguments? Aurangzeb is effectively considered to be an efficient and effective emperor of the Mughal empire. He restructured the activities of Jizya as well as effectively banned the practices of Sati. After that, after examining the problems what contributed to the downfall of the Mughal empire with similar issues, do you think are also present in our country today suggest possible solutions to resolve these issues it's not a long question it's the answer of the three questions the first paragraph is mughal empire declined due to the many reasons aurangzeb's long war in deccan strained the military and financial resources of the empire also the efficiency of the mughal administration decreased the later mughal emperor could not control their powerful منصب دارس دا میجر اکانمک چیلنجز فیسڈ بائی پاکستان اور پاورٹی ان امپلائمنٹ ہیوج فارن ڈیبس اینڈ لو انویسٹمنٹس ان دا ہائی ایکچوئل ڈائیورس ان اکانمی ان اسٹیبلٹی از ود آؤٹ دا جتنے بھی وہاں پہ قرضے تھے ان کو تمام چیزوں پہ ہم لوگ جو ہے سب سے پہلی بات یہ ہے کہ ہمارے پرابلمس کیا ہیں وی ول ڈسکس دا میجر اکانمک چیلنجز فیسڈ بائی پاکستان اور پاورٹی ان امپلائمنٹ اور بہت سارے قرضے جو کہ باہر کی کنٹریز کے تھرو ہمیں مل رہے ہیں ون آف دا میجر سوشل پرابلم آف پاکستان ہائی رائٹ ناؤ دا گورنمنٹ کین نیگوشیٹ اے فیوریبل ریکسیز کیجول ہمیں کرنا کیا ہے ہمیں ان کریڈٹس کو واپس کرنا ہے ہمیں اپنے کنٹری کو اسٹیبل کرنے کے لیے وی نیڈ ٹو ریٹرن بیک دا تھنگس اینڈ آفٹر دیٹ وی ول جسٹ بی ایبل ٹو ڈو سم تھنگ گڈ فار دا کنٹری تو ان یور اپینین ہو واز دا بیسٹ رولر آف دا دہلی سلطن سم آف دا ہسٹورین کنسیڈر دا بیلبن ٹو دا گریٹسٹ آف آل سلطان سم کنسیڈر الاؤ دن کھل جی بیکاز آف دا اکانمک ریفارم مینی کنسیڈر فیروز شاہ تغلق ایز اے گریٹسٹ دہلی سلطان یو ہیو ٹو فائنڈ آؤٹ وچ ون از دا بیٹر it's your opinion and you have to write on your own opinion here so this is the essence 
what were the achievement of the muslim scientists during their basic caliphate analyze the main reasons behind this and the answer is written in your notebook you can use it but here i have just written some in the form of paragraph the basic caliphate was a great patron of science islamic scholars made significant contribution to the various field of the knowledge including mathematics astronomy medicines and philosophy they developed algebra created uh, astronomical instrument and made advance in medicines to bahut sari cheeze ki thi do write the names aap inke name bhi mention kar sakte hain so this is all about the history it's important uh, part of the history in questions hain to aap inko हम कंसीडर करें और उसके बाद आप प्रिपरेशन करें इन शाह तला यू विल गेट ग्रेट गुड रेड्स थैंक यू सो वेरी मच हैव अ ब्लेस्ड डे गुड विशेज फॉर यू थैंक यू सो वेरी मच